damage boosts early on. It's just to get me through this cutscene at the end of the stage because for whatever reason they determined that your actual health is what was going to be used when those attacks hit you. So if you have more HP than one, you'll just bounce back and you have to wait out your invulnerability frames while they steadily come over and kick your ass. <laughs> I kind of, I don't even remember what the old Infernus strats looked like, just getting through those alligators. I think it was just a crescent of each one. I think the damage boosts are a lot more stylish. I need to be a little more left and probably a little down, actually, but, yeah. Good enough. 251.5, right where I want to be. You have enough iframes to do a variety of things. It does come up too often, but there's some fun physics that can come in from uh, getting hit by spikes or an enemy when you're already close to a wall. Um, otherwise, yeah, after this first section, damage boosts just don't come up a whole lot. Definitely does, Rogue Master. but they were in non-dangerous parts and then the rest I got perfect so I'll call that a good enough climb. There we go. So barring any catastrophes on Terralisk,
You actually have a really big hitbox on your fist for a lot of things, so my positioning doesn't have to be all that precise for these hits. That's... I'm probably a little high, but that that's good. That's where I want to be. No, I was a little bit to the right, too. Either way, this is going to be a good... pretty good split. Yeah, 210, or 610. 610 is definitely where I want to be. Assuming that I keep it up through Petrolith, we're going to end up with about 